Hello everyone, it's Ty Warner with Kissoft Tech Support, Gleason Corporation. Um, Kissoft 2021 is released. So here's the the quick overview on a couple things. <clears throat> Some things have changed in the software, but I think for the good, for the most part. Uh, we still have the same type of interface. System modules, base modules, all of the uh, original modules that you'd expect to to have from Kissoft. We still have our examples here. We still have contents for the manual. We have a search term. Uh, now they've broken out tutorials before tutorials are part of uh, examples. Uh, so if we were to open up a gear pair, and now they're called gear pairs and not just cylindrical gear. So here's a gear pair. You know there's no tutorials in it, but if I go to tutorials and go to gear pair, um, I've got different tutorials in here. Okay, same with planetary, bevels and hypoids. All right, <clears throat> the D stands for Dutch, C is Chinese, E is English. Uh, we have other um, languages as well. So this is a change. It's a small change. I, I, it's not a bad change. I think it's a pretty good change. If I open up uh, reports, are the same. Graphics are pretty much the same. Extras, that no real changes there. But now if I go and open up a cylindrical gear pair, there are some changes here. Okay. So in my gear pair module, in my module specific settings, you'll see that this has changed a little bit from what it used to be. Um, you still have input normal diametral pitch. Some of, the thing, some of these things have been moved around just a little bit. Don't abort when geometry error occurs. Profile shift. Uh, here's your calculation with operating center distance. So you don't have to go to calculations now to grab that. Now it's right in the general settings. All right. Sizings. Uh, this has changed just a little bit. I think it's pretty close to the same. Calculations. Um, not, not a huge change. The biggest thing there is we move this out of there. Safety factors are the same, pretty much. Contact analysis. Uh, looks like there's some new conical profile shift stuff. Some things of some different, uh, more advanced kind of toggle switches here and there. Diagrams. Okay, here's your K charts. You can choose if you want constant, read from file. Usually we have an AGMA 2000 chart. You can change. So this is a little bit easier, I think, for the user to look at. So we can look at diameter, angle, rotation, roll angle. Um, use TIFF. That's the same. You can you can center the design of profile. All right. Generation of 3D. You see, we've got some more uh, windows kind of things. It's a little bit different than what we had in 2020. So if we look at at 2020. Um, in the cylindrical gear pair, we can kind of set these up Oops, next to each other. All right. Here's 2021. Here's 2020. Now if I go here and I show this up, see how the general, the general tab is a little different, right? So here's the new tab on the left, old tab on the right. Um, you can see we didn't have this calculated operating center, but we do have it here, right? So they've kind of moved some things around a little bit. Um, I don't think it's for the word. I think this isn't too bad, okay? Uh, other things that they've moved is here, you can see in the general tab, we have this input quality according to calculation method for strength. So this is where we defined our AGMA, our ISO, or DIN quality number. And that would be this quality number right here in the interface. All right. And here, you see we don't have that. We have geometry according to. All right. But now if you want to change the quality from an AGMA to an ISO, this wrench, properties, okay, specific settings. So now I can say input quality according to, and I just grab the one I want. If 
I want a 20 Agma, uh, 20, Agma 2015, I grab that. I can extrapolate tolerance values. I can do varying qualities here. If I do that, then I can define the different qualities, right? Uh, quality class differences. All right. So it goes right to Agma. You can see our profile shift coefficient. I have, I can still do my convert. I can still do a size profile. But now I have specific settings. Okay, so now I can do it with operating center distance and manufacturing. I can allow, maintain. So these are things that we normally would do in the module specific setting we could do here now. We're still going to grab the center distance. That doesn't change. Um, these types of things don't change. Normal pressure, pressure angle, base tangent, that kind of stuff. Right? Reference profile doesn't change. Manufacturing, uh, there are some things here It's more advanced. Yeah, you can define this as hobbing, shaping, not defined, form cutaway wire erosion, so this is wire EDM. Um, the generating process, so generation grinding or profile grinding, right? Those things didn't, didn't really change too much. I think it changes a little bit what it looks like. If I go 2020, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Tolerances are about the same. No big, no big changes there. Um, you still have this diameter ball pin. You can actually hit this. Anywhere you see a wrench now, it's a specific setting. So you can define a, you know, how you're going to set these. Okay. Strength. So we have a strength tab. We used to call that the, the rating tab. All right. And in the rating tab for 2020 and earlier, we had this details window. And if we click that detail window, we got this system data, pair data, um, and we can enter some stuff in here and make adjustments with limited permitting and two of these will run in, that kind of stuff. All right. Now in 2021, we don't, that window's gone. And they, we're not calling it the rating tab, we're calling it the strength tab. So I'm not sure why we changed that, but we changed it. Um, now instead of those, the detail over here, now we have this calculation method. So we, we have our, we have our ISO method, right? And now on this little tab here, details for root and strength. Instead of having that window over here, we, we grab the wrench. That's this wrench. So we can allow a simplified calculation. That would be for plastics. We can check contact stress. Now we can look at uh, the types of things that we need for the calculation. Profile, with or without, without modifications, right? So this is the profile. So single tooth contact. If you go to that, it's the same information. They just kind of moved it around a little bit and put it, I think, more in a, more in a flowing kind of manner. Um, consider low bins, right? It used to be your uh, calculation for load bins would be down in here, right? We can use nominal load, but if we grab this wrench, we don't have to consider load bins with zero frequency. Now we can all right. Uh, determination of the form factors for tooth root. So here's here's where we're so this determination is we're talking about how we're calculating the root strength. These are, these are either with graphical method or according to standard. Okay. So in 2020, that was right here. So it's loose form factor. Graphical or internal. That's the difference. Okay. Limited permitting. Yes, no. Now, if I were to grab AGMA, you see some things change down here, right? But my wrench still is still there. And now you can see my reliability for pitting and tooth bending. That's all just like what we used to have. All right. So don't fret. We don't have the details tab up here. Now we have a uh, properties button right next to the calculation method, all right? We still have the tooth flank fracture and all those other micro pitting, reliability, <clears throat> all that stuff. So pretty nice. Uh, we have required service life. This is where you would set your power on time, number of load cycles, etc. okay? Micro pitting, tip relief optimal, yes or no, okay? So this was something that was in 2020 um, 
in this Paragear data optimal tip relief, like in here. All right. Um, so a few things that are a little bit different. Um, what else we have? Modification of your own SN curve, life fact factors, okay. Under factors, um, overload factors, dynamic, they're a little bit different, not a ton. If I go to 2020, you can see I've got one, two, three, four of these kind of laid out. In 2021, it's pretty much the same layout. No, no major changes here. we got a little different kind of drop-down menus, all right. We still have modifications, all right. Now we have a wrench, so we can do specific settings um, and remove material on both sides, use definition pressure, that kind of thing. And then we've got uh, fine modification sizing right here and rough sizing right here or up here. So there's little buttons down here that we can choose. All right. Tooth form, same, no major changes. Uh, at least from an operational standpoint. Contact analysis looks pretty much the same. No major changes. Uh, axis alignment, torsion, gear body. This is the same as what we had before. All right. Nominal versus upper, lower, center distance stuff. Okay. Operating backlash. Um, I think this is a little bit different layout. So if I look at the operating backlash versus 2020, uh, I've got some relative water absorption. It looks pretty, fairly close to what it is. So if I look, housing material, coefficient of expansion, reference, um, reference temperature, that's like, what, where did you cut it at? So we cut it at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, you can consider deviation error. So this is pretty much the same. No ma major changes there. Master gear. No major changes that I can see. We got the tooth root stress, gear pump, and Agma 925. So not a, these are the, the major things that are going to be different for for the user in 2021 is going to be the basic data tab. The details are all the same. But it's these little wrenches here. These are specific settings for profile ship. Specific settings for quality. Okay. Reference profile. No major changes, which is nice. We can still do a cutter, a hobbing cutter pinion or constructed involute. Manufacturing is pretty much the same. No major changes. Tolerances is pretty much the same. Modifications. There's a, these two deals here where you can do your rough and... and um, well, there was never a rough modification sizing before. It used to be a arrow. So the rough modifications in 2020 look like this. Proposal for profile. Now in 2021, it looks like a rough sizing. Okay. You can still activate all you can still swap active it and inactive that's a new button you can deactivate all the mod, uh, modifications you have uh, so that's pretty much it that I can see from a top level um, some of you are going to have questions and the questions are going to revolve around what happened to my module specific settings um, in 2021 they don't look the same well they don't look the same because they've changed a little bit but hopefully this helps you kind of navigate this new user interface it's not a huge difference. I think it will help with, um, you know, button clicks and how getting things done. So if you got questions, want to try it, of course, you can always call Gleason. You can email me at Ty Warner, sorry, ty.warner at uh, kissoff.ag. Uh, it's kissoff.ag. So it's Ty Warner, T-Y dot W-A-R-N-E-R -E at kissoff.ag. Dot ag or kissoff.com. I'll get the email if you're looking for a test license. I can send that out to you. If you have tech support questions, you can email me there as well, and I will see what I can, how I can help you. But those are it. That's it. 
I think 2021 is going to be a nice addition um, to the family of Kiss Off packages that are out there. Um, don't forget, Gleason has consulting. Um, Kiss Off does consulting. Uh, if, you, if you run into something that's beyond you, then you certainly can give us a call. We'll help you out. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy Kiss Off 2021.